Any questions on anything with that? Okay, so how can I be consistent using golden gaps? Well, that's the whole purpose of where the process of using your brain takes hold. For me, I've been doing nothing else but this for so long where it's ingrained in me, where I own the knowledge, it's just in my brain. Like I take trades so fast and I don't even sometimes like have time to process the thought. Like I'm just so used to doing it. But when you're new, you have to go through the process. And I still go through and rate the gaps, I have a worksheet. I go through and rate the gap every single morning. I never skip it. I rate it by do. I rated the INTC, I rate them in the morning. I don't rush, rush around. I get up early, I exercise, then I get ready to trade. I start sitting down around seven o'clock and rating things while I'm eating my breakfast. Uh, the more preparation I do in the morning, the easier it is for me to make money and make the trains that I, that I do in the day and then have the conviction. But it's a consistency in the proper uh, look of it, of the preparation and using the same strategy that really helps me. But when the live day comes, I'm so used to doing it that I just do it. But I have all the prep work done in the morning and that helps with the consistency too. Whereas a lot of people don't even know what they're trading until after the market opens or after 10 a.m. I don't train stuff on the fly. I know what I'm doing before the open or I know I'm not doing anything before the open. And that goes for options and day trades, okay? Any questions here so far by anyone? So again, it gets back to the repetition. Like if, if you play a sport, my father's a golfer, you know if you are, play a sport, my father golfs a lot. Some years he's more time to golf than others, but the more he golfs, the better he is than that year. He's been golfing for a long time. Repetition helps you get better. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You know, that's how you get better over time. Skipping it and jumping around from thing to thing to thing is a disaster, an absolute disaster. So ultimately, how do you get good? Well, you've got to stick with one thing. That is problematic for so many people because they just think, I don't know, that they're never gonna lose in a trade. They lose in a trade, they get frustrated, they wanna quit. Sometimes trades don't work. You have to accept that about this, but you can't give up. You have to stick with one thing. That thing has to work, but you have to stick with it. Okay, the consistency really counts. It's the, it's the reason for my success besides the system itself. The application of using the rating system, the 26 points helps me be successful, but then also the consistency, which I stick with it. I stick, 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 stick with it, okay? So how much money can you make trading golden gaps? It depends how much you risk. I say go for one-to-one -one with day trains and go for about 50% to 100% in an option. If you're risking 1,000 in an option, your goal is 500 to 1,000. 500 is good, that's 50%. If you're risking 1,000 in a day trade, your goal is 1,000. Might Sometimes you might make 1,500, sometimes you may make 800. It all evens out, okay? Any questions about that? As I said, the trades go fast. I like that, I love to short, I focus on shorting, that's why I get the drops, panic happens quick, selling happens quick, that's what you saw today in the market. You saw this massive sell-off and panic that happened right away out of the gate in the morning. Again, the news overseas, Afghanistan, whatever, COVID you saw the sell-off last year. All of these things. But the faster you can make money, the better it is, okay? Here was another trade that we did, this was the diamonds. Again, this was today, but I'll show you the option. It was on July 19th. We did the 341 puts. Let's go back and look at it. So it was this day here. Market closed here, gap down, fell, boom. Okay, right in here. So this was a put. We did the 341s. Cost was 260. This was very cheap, actually. Contracts was 30, an advanced risk of 7,800. Sold at five, again, Close enough to 100%. You get the drop, you get the move, you get out. You get the drop, you get the move, you get out. Okay? This isn't like investing in a stock where you're buying it and you're holding it forever. Again, I'm trying to get momentum. I'm trying to get momentum. When you get the momentum, you get out. I, that buying you, I didn't feel like I got enough momentum that first day. That's why I felt the confidence to hold it into Friday. And specifically on Friday, when it didn't break 150, I felt very confident it would go through 150, which it did today. Okay. Anyways, let's look at the beginner risk for the diamonds. Again, this is an option. 
three contracts, cost is 260, risk is 780 bucks, 92% return on investment, again, $780. This is taking it and getting out the same day, okay? This was several, several weeks ago. Actually, today is the 16th, it was almost a month ago. Hard to believe, in fact, hard to believe. Here's where we were in July, here's where we are today. We're 10 points higher in the diamonds from where we were in this particular day. We flirted down here with this area earlier, fell, sold off, Boeing did too, you saw that. And now we have this. So the question is, are we gonna go back down there? Well, it remains to be seen. Any questions here about gaps or options or anything I'm talking about here so far today? Here's some more gaps. Closed here, gap down. Could have shorted this here. Again, this is the one here. Closed here, gap down. We did the put. Could have done a day trade here. Could have done a put. Could have done a day trade here. Could have done a put. Could have done a day trade today. Could have done a put. Closed here, gap down, fell. That tail is selling that occurred, that it fell in the market today. Okay. So there it was. So why trade gaps? Again, fast trades, lots of volume, lots of momentum that makes a good product for you to make money. As far as looking at different strategies, I don't like the idea of scalping and I don't do low float stocks or cheap stocks or penny stocks. You can make money when stuff moves without putting too much risk on, I think. Plus you have volume, you know you're gonna get filled. Again, the nice thing is you can work from home, that's advantageous in this type of environment and in this type of world, seriously. So if you learn how to trade the market, you can be your own boss and work from home, which is a very nice thing. Even in 2021, people are still in this kind of half COVID thing, which is crazy. But you know, even once we get fully out of it, the fact is it's nice to work from home. You can set your own schedule and work just a short time a day with a comfortable income. No one said you have to risk $8,000 a trade either. Think of it, I've been doing this for 13 years. Again, you can risk $1,000 in an options trade. That's a good amount of money, people. There is a trading strategy that I do, like I said, it's on gaps, it's called golden gaps. I like it because you it's a sustainable trading method because you have it in any market. It doesn't matter if the market's bullish. It doesn't matter if the market's bearish. It doesn't matter what's going on in the news cycle. The trades that I'm usually looking to do have absolutely nothing to do with the market. So you can trade the market sometimes, you saw that we do, but I can looking for specific things, just like the PayPal. I don't need the market for my trades to go, luckily, okay? So we do them, and we're looking for the good gaps, whether the market's in an uptrend or a downtrend. But if you want to trade for a living, you have to have a strategy, that's number one. You gotta have one, I mean, you can't be jumping all around. You also have to have something that's predictable and reliable. You're gonna get it most days of the week. You've got to have the trades there, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You gotta get the setups almost daily. You gotta get big moves, okay? None of us can, are taking 100,000 positions like a hedge fund, okay? We have to be able to maneuver in with a couple hundred shares or a couple thousand shares or 20 contracts or whatever. We have to be able to maneuver in and out, you know, as active, active people. Any questions here so far? Thank you, Kathy, for putting my information in the room. Again, if you want a trial, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com <clears throat> if you'd like a trial. Anyways, we are in a really different, strange time. That's all I can say. I mean, it's just one of these weird times. I had a lot of people reach out to me last year that were thinking about trading and then wish that they would have reached out to me and then had you know, all their life upside down with COVID. I don't wait till something happens. Like learn something to make extra money now. Even if you have a full-time job and everything's fine. You don't, don't wait till things get bad where you have, you're up against the wall. Do something to change your life to make more money now. You know, just make the time to do it. Make the time for the class. It's on the weekend. Make the time to trade in the morning for an hour a day. No one said you have to sit at your computer, like I said, all day till four. Make the time, trade two days a week, whatever. Today's world is not the same as 25 years ago or 30 years ago or, or even when the bank bailout was. My God, it's hard to believe. September 11th or is coming up 20 years. 20 years since 9-11. I, I just can't even believe it. 
What we think is a secure job today may be gone tomorrow. We can be great employees, productive, outgoing, hardworking, and it may not even matter to our employer in the end if the company can't keep you on. If a company has poor management, they might fail, and it has nothing to do with you. You're seeing that with the collapse of certain industries. It's terrible. Or your industry might fail, and it has nothing to do with you. Or you might have a vaccine mandate or something else where you get fired. It's just a crazy world. They're downsizing. You could be a skilled person with a great mind and then lose your job. But you can work for yourself in the market. You can create your own job security. You can create your own opportunity by taking it upon yourself to learn how to trade the market and make money trading. And this is a process. It's a process. The process is learning. How fast are you going to learn it? You do the class in two days, you can learn it and start going out of the game like that. Are you going to comprehend everything in two days? I don't know. I don't know you. Some people do. Some people have a learning curve. Okay, it's it, I have to get to know people, but I'm here. You can ask me questions. I'm always here for people. Okay, <laughs> any questions right now? Quiet group tonight. Anyways, one of the cruxes of tonight's lecture that I want to make clear is that one quality strategy is really all you need to be successful. It's you can pay yourself on a regular basis by doing that. And you just replicate it over and over and you add size. I mean, I've, that's what I've been doing for 13 years. Having one powerful strategy that pays you will open up your eyes to the true profit potential of the market. If you've never taken a trade and have what I call a comma day, where you make a thousand comma, two thousand comma, any number with a comma, if you've never had a day like that, once you do and you see what it's like, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling to make money like that with a comma trade in a very fast period of time, whether it's five minutes or even an hour. The market can offer you a real lifelong career if you have a strategy that makes money consistently. For me, it's golden gaps. And again, some people will work, you know, 40 hours a week or more and not even make what they can in one trade that could just be within 30 minutes, you know? There was a lot of big moves today. You could have done trades today and got out and pretty much taken the whole week off because if you got in shorts before that drop today, boom, we fell out of the sky. I'll pull up the market when we're done. But I mean, it just it's the timing. It's just getting it, seeing it. It's getting the direction right, getting the timing right, taking it with size. Then you get the momentum and it, poof, it comes in like that. And then you get out. And then you get out, okay? <clears throat> so we've been talking about this here, golden gaps. That's what I do. What is a golden gap? A golden gap is a gap that moves in the direction of the gap. Who makes golden gaps? Institutional money. That's what makes and creates these gaps. It's what moves stocks. It's what moves the market. In the case of a bullish gap, institutions are buying the stock. Therefore, the stock moves higher in the trading day. In the case of a bearish gap, the institutions are selling or shorting the stock. Therefore, the stock moves lower on the trading day. Okay, really, you can go long, you can go short. Again, I prefer to short, but I do do both. The golden gap, though, is about high probability. Anything that can put the odds in your favor to trade will give you an edge. The golden gap system gives you an edge because it uses a rating or scoring system. This is what I do in the morning in the pre-market. I use the rating system to pick the stock to trade. I'm reading the price point of the gap, and then I'm using technical analysis on an advanced level to pinpoint which stock to trade that day and in what direction. That's how I know to short it, for example. The high probabilities and the quality and detail in the rating system. 26 points seems like an enormous amount of detail, but once you learn it, it only takes five to 10 minutes and I can do it really fast if I want to, but I like to take my time. I do not like to rush. I'm gonna take my time a lot tomorrow. We have some big things out Tuesday. Earnings, I mean, okay. So the Golden Gap system is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. That's what I do. That's what I do. So using a 26-point checklist to trade creates high probability of success because I know that it has all of these things stacked up in its favor to tell me it's going to drop or rally. But we're focusing today on shorts. So if I get 22 points, say, I say, well, that's a lot of points. That's a high probability. Trading is about probability. Again, there's never 100%. There's never 100% anything. There's no guarantees at all. There's no guarantee the market's going to continue higher tomorrow and no guarantee it's going to continue lower. You know that when you take a trade, that's why you have to size yourself. I'm looking for high odds. 
high odds. When I see the odds in my favor high, then I feel confident that I can risk money because it's still my hard-earned money. I'm risking when I take the trade. I want the odds in my favor up, okay? This isn't like gambling, you know. When you go to gamble at a casino, it doesn't have high odds. In fact, I don't know what the odds are. Blackjack or whatever. You'd have to be a good card player for one. Anyways, getting back to the momentum, this was the buy deal. Look at the momentum. The stock was at 165. One, two, three, four. Four days down, the stock has dropped 20 points. 20 points. That's that's a big move, even for something like Baidu. That's momentum, people. Right now, we're in earnings season. We got Lowe's. We got Walmart. We got Target, I think, this week. We got a ton of stuff this week. It's going to be a good week. Earnings season gives you a lot of gaps. Now, in not earnings season, we still have trains. We still have plays. We still have gaps. But I may not have, like, five things a day. Now, I may not do five things a day. I might. I may be. But I'm trying to do one thing a day. But in options, I might do a couple of options. I might do three, four options in a day. But anyways, I'm always looking for the gap. The quality gap is one that rates high, high enough to train based on the 26-point rating system. Okay? Any questions here so far? How's everyone doing? Okay. Going to keep going. For every amount you risk per trade, your goal is to make at least that back on the trade. Like, that's what I'm saying, one to one. If something goes to a larger target, hey, you can make even more. Or you ask me what I think, like with the buy down. That was when I said, listen, this is a good one. This is a good one, people. Then you know you can hold it. You can hold it to what I call a piggy target. You can't hold everything to a piggy target. So how do you choose the money manager as part of your overall money management plan as a career trader? Trading is ultimately though about making money and booking it on a consistent basis. Book it, book it, book it. Having solid, profitable trades with good risk to reward on a regular basis will eventually help you take more size, which is obviously what you want to do and where you want to be. You know, that's what we're all working towards. Some trades can make more, like three to five times the amount you risk. However, it has to do with the timing. It has to do with money management. <coughs> Excuse me. And most importantly, the golden gap rating. Because I'm never doing anything that I haven't rated. The gaps, the gaps, I'm doing gaps in the U.S. stock market. You can do stocks. You can do the market ETFs. You could do any ETF that you want. I'm doing options and I'm doing just straight out full on equity trades. So like if a stock, here, let me look it up right now. Let me just see if there's anything tonight. I don't think that there's anything right this second. I think everything's tomorrow morning, but let me just see if there is anything tonight. Let me just see if I can find a live gap right now quick. What is today? The 16th. Eee. I gotta go to bed early tonight. TME. I don't know if this is moving, but let's see. TME. I'm putting the chart up now. Let me know if you see it in a second. It's taking forever. This had earnings. I don't know what it's doing, but let's just look at it. I don't know if I've ever traded this in my life, but let's look at it. $9 something. Um, this is up. Okay. I don't think I'm doing this, but, but let's just look at it anyways. So it is up. So here's the gap. It's happened. Boom. 4.15. Do, 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 do. 5 o'clock. See the price here is 9.18. See where we have it. See where it closed. So this is a live gap. Stock closed at 892. Now it is like here. See that? Anyways, a trade that's a day trade on margin, like I wouldn't, if I wanted to do this, I'm not gonna do this, but I'm just using this as a make it up example. If I wanted to do this, I would not do an option in this. It doesn't make any sense. I don't even know if you had an option in this, but even if you would, I wouldn't do it. So you would best be served to do this as a day trade. So say you want to short it, or say you'd want to go long it. Say you'd want to go long it at tomorrow morning, say it's at 9.50, okay? 
So you take 1,000 shares, you need what? You need $9,500 in buying power. Not in cash, but in buying power. So depending on what type of account you have, four to one margin, 10 to one margin would depend how much money you need. Follow me? Does everyone understand margin? And if you don't, ask me. Ask me if you don't. I would not do this as an option. It's too cheap. Does everyone know what I mean by margin? Don't be afraid to ask questions. You're not going to learn unless you do. You're not going to learn unless you ask. Let me go here and see what else. Okay, nobody's asking. You can always email me and ask me later. And again, you're welcome to come to the live room tomorrow. Just got to email me for access. Anyways, the point is I do do stocks and options. And I do do equity trades and stocks. So I do both. But not in everything. But if I happen to do a day trade and I happen to do an option in the same stock like Baidu, you know I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So those are the ones you want to make sure you get both. Those are really good gaps then. Anyways, you need a plan of action, a plan of action in place to win. If you don't have one, you're not going to win. This mouse is going for the cheese. He's desperate for a meal. He's starved. All the cheese is so loud. Not because we're in lockdown, but because we have no truck drivers delivering the cheeses. Low supply inventory. Stock is low in the stores. It's a mess right now, trying to get supplies. Things are backed up in the ports. He's desperate for cheese. He puts on the helmet and he goes for it, knowing full well that there is a risk. There is a risk. If he does not have a plan of action, he will not survive and win the cheese. Not only does he want to survive, he wants to eat the cheese. So you want the money, but you have to put the helmet on. The helmet is the information. And then you also size yourself correctly money management wise and use a stop. That protects you. Keeps your account whole. Okay. Everyone understand. <clears throat> Thank you, Kathy. So let's talk about the philosophy behind the Golden Gap 26 point rating system. The, philosophy, the whole philosophy behind why I figured this out, why I did it, is I wanted to make money. That's the end of the story. One day I did a gap, I made a lot of money, and it was a short, and I said there's something to this. I realized gaps have huge moves. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't need to take thousands of shares. And at the time I was only taking hundreds of shares. I was risking a much smaller risk. And I said, and I made a lot of money. I said, wait a minute, there's something to this here. So then I went to figure it out and analyze it in the pre-market. And that's how I came up with the system. It's to analyze a large time frame, the daily, to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. And again, this is on the day. On the day I'm playing it, whatever the day is, okay? All large traders of every kind look at large time frames and make decisions, particularly institutional traders. Those are the ones I care about, not to retail traders to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame of the one minute chart, which has a high degree of focus and accuracy. And using the daily chart to make the decisions for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the direction. Using the one minute chart allows for good risk to reward trades with accuracy. So we're taking the trades on the one minute, but I'm analyzing them in the daily, okay? But, you know, really the only difference between being a beginner trader, an intermediate trader, and an advanced trader is size, size and knowledge. And looking at the size of your account and how much you know and how much risk you want to take based on the size of that account, you can ask me what I think. If you're new, you should take a small size. That's it. If you have a small account, you should take a small size. You can build it up pretty quick. Two or three great plays can make your whole month. And that goes for options and day trades. And again, getting back to what I was saying, you know, if you if something moves a dollar, which is a normal move for us, sometimes we get more, uh, you know, 200 shares and a buck is 200 bucks, okay? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with 2,000? I mean, this is just normal, normal, normal move of a dollar. The amount you choose to risk should be in accordance with your individual risk parameters, which you set up for yourself. And if you have a margin account, it has to go with that too. Now, while we sometimes do trades in more expensive things like the market ETFs, we shorted the QQQs today as a day trade. But the reality, and that's not cheap, but you could have done it as a margin too. You could have bought a put that was cheaper 
And either way, you just take your size down, okay? You can take 100 chairs. The Golden Gap course is a class that I teach. I teach it once a month. The class is at the end of this month, so you have time to think about it. You have time to decide if you want to do it. You have time to ask me questions. You have time to come in the room as a trial. The Golden Gap course teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches students how to play the stock on the day, and that's important. The course teaches students chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. I'm extremely good at reading charts. I've gotten better over the years. It's one of the reasons I read the market so well, but this is something that, again, it takes time. You process it. You read it. It's a full understanding of what you're doing because that's, you know, that's, that's where you need to be. When you understand what you're doing, you won't get scared out of the whip sauce, and you'll hold something like Baidu to get it made into a bigger trade, too. Okay. Any questions here so far? Anyways, I go through the process. I go through the points. I go through the checklist. I do it every morning. I don't skip it. This is the meat and potatoes of what I do, and this is what you'll learn in the class. It's the Golden Gap 26-point checklist. You will go through and rate it. Again, if it rates 20 points or more, you will tank the gap in the direction of the gap. I never get in in the pre-market. I don't trade the post market when I see the gap happening. I'm not predicting the gap. I wait till it gaps, then I read it, okay? So gaps are very useful tools because they're really telling you what's gonna happen, what's coming up ahead, and that's important. That's very important. And 90%, I'd say, of the gaps I trade have follow through for swinging core trades. That's how I really ended up getting into options because I never, I didn't do options 12, 13 years ago. I got into options about six, six years ago plus. But, you know, I, I, my system, I didn't design for longer term moves, but it does have very specific points that I look at that really end up having nice follow through. When a stock rates over 20 points per the system, the chart is really damaged and selling can continue to come into the chart to push the price down for further moves lower. You saw that in the PayPal, you saw that in the buy deal. More selling and more shorting means more momentum for you to capitalize on the first day and then beyond. If you happen to want to take it as a swing trade, you can do that too. Although I would downsize yourself if you're just flat out doing a swing trade on two to one margin or cash. You have to learn the system how to find and spot and rate the gap. And then you can play it however you want. Or you can use it for something like today. Say you're in a retirement account. Say you're in something. Say you're in something and it goes against you and you're long and it goes against you and you're short. And you say, wait a minute, maybe I should sell. Maybe I should sell out of my retirement account today. We gapped out and we fell today. And I don't know what's happening overseas, blah, blah, blah. You decide to get out then because you realize the, of the gap. Get out of your longs, I'm saying, okay? Any questions here so far? So it has many, many uses learning the rating system, I'm saying, specifically, okay? Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm teaching really regular people. Some people have no experience trading whatsoever at all. Then some people that have come to me have been trading longer than I'm alive. So, you know, bottom line is it doesn't matter. Anyone can learn it. I'm here to teach you. You can ask me questions. They're normal people from all walks of life, with all different kinds of money, from all different backgrounds, whatever your experience level is currently. If you're not having success, if you're not making money, then you've got to stop back and step back and evaluate what you're doing because you don't want to run amok. You don't want to lose the next five months of the year. Don't continue doing the same thing and getting nowhere. It's like hitting your head against a brick wall. The end of the calendar year is a good time to reorganize and learn new information because it will help you become profitable to use the information to take it into the next year, into 2022, okay? But I think that trading is fun. I definitely think making money is fun. It's something I'm extremely focused on, which is why, you know, the room's great to be in there and to get the live trains and, and you just got to go with it and listen to my explanations in the room, the teaching, the, what I say about the market, all of it. For many people that are looking for other careers right now, trading is one of them. You can live anywhere in the world, like I said, and train. I happen to live in New York. Same time as the market, Eastern time zone, but you don't have to be on Wall Street in order to trade. And I'm, I'm nowhere near Wall Street. I'm like an hour away from Wall Street, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, people really aren't working in offices really here in New York City, to be honest with you. Like, I'd say 
20% of the people are in offices right now. 80% of the people are still not even back in the city. So people are just working from home and some are gonna work from home forever. Some people are out in the Hamptons this summer, they're gonna just stay out there. People aren't coming to back of their offices even until January next year. We live in a remote world now. Doing this for a living is totally, totally doable nowadays, okay? Anyways, if you wanna learn my system, you would learn it in the Golden Gap. And the Golden Gap course will help you find success in the market because I do my best to mentor people, to explain things, to go over them. The room is the support system after the class. The options newsletter, you don't have to take the class to sign up for that. Uh, you just get the newsletters emailed to you in live time if you just wanna do the options. But you must do the class to be in the room, okay? So what do you need to succeed besides the Golden Gap course, besides learning the system, the four C's? What are the four things you need in order to be successful? Number one, clarity. Why are you trading? Why do you want to do this? Okay. You need to know what is the goal? What is the purpose? You want a new career? You want extra money to buy a house? A car? What? Why, why are you doing this? Okay. You're retired? You have extra time on your hands? Or what? what is it? Know why you're doing it. Have the clarity. Okay. You also need confidence. Why do you get the confidence? How do you get confidence in yourself? Even if you've been trading and you've lost in the past, how do you get your confidence level up? You got to learn it. It's the knowledge. The knowledge helps your confidence. One of the reasons I'm extremely confident to hold something like Biden was because I have the knowledge. The knowledge helps your confidence. It will help you get through bad days. You won't think it's the end of the world. If you're a confident person, you'll say, you know what? Tomorrow I'm going to do fabulous. Tomorrow I'm going to do great. And you know that you will, and you don't give up, and you don't quit. You also need conviction. Conviction is, again, the knowledge. The knowledge of the full understanding of the charts, of gaps, of how the market works, of knowing that you have things like right now where we're in this volatility period where you've got news and other things, economic downturns, COVID, all of this stuff. I pay attention to the news a lot because I talk on national TV, but even if I didn't, I would anyways because of the market, because of my trades. So knowledge helps you have the conviction. And part of it is conviction in yourself. Knowing again that you can do this, that it's not without the realm of your uh, reach, not, with, not outside of your scope. Again, you can open up an options account with $2,000. You can't risk that whole amount in one trade, okay? But you can take one contract of something. And then commitment. Commitment, which is learning, gaining the knowledge, and then asking questions, studying on the weekends, paying attention, you know, going through the reviews, doing the rating system, not skipping up, getting up early. I think learning is fun. I read, okay, I read all kinds of stuff. I like to learn if that's not your personality, you know, then you gotta be in the room. But I mean, you gotta learn what you're doing. I mean, you're gonna, it's gonna benefit you in the long run, honest to goodness. And once you learn it, you know it. Once you learn it, you know it, that's it, okay? So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. It's all the pieces of the puzzle that you have together. You pull them all together, boom, and then you have it, and then it's yours, and you put it to good use every single day in the market, and that is what I do. The class is called the Golden Gap course. The class dates are August 28th and 29th, Saturday and Sunday, classes online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Cost of the class is $6,999. It is money well spent. You must do the class to join the room. If you want to join the options letter, the options newsletter is $6,999 for one year of subscription, which you get the newsletters emailed to you directly, okay? You will not learn the system in the letter, but if that's just what you want to get the newsletter trades, then fine. I think learning the system is important. I think learning the system is helpful. If you'd like a free trial, email me. Again, you have plenty of time to be in the room this week. Email me if you want a trial. Let me just take a look here at the market. And then, I'll get this thing off, whatever this thing is. And then I'll answer any questions for you. So we drop, it looks like we didn't have any reaction at all to Biden talking, that's what I wanted to see. He started speaking at 345, he was brief, he was short, he took no questions and that was it. So we dropped, we dropped down into, 1030, 1045, 11. Okay. Any questions from anyone? How's everybody doing? 
you got to get serious if you want to do well trading. I think one of the other things that traders don't do is they don't take it seriously. You got to take it seriously. I devoted three years of my life to figuring out my system. I worked full time when I did that. I took it very seriously. I basically had no life. I worked full time. Then I traded. I saw my family and that was it. I took it very, 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 very seriously. I never thought it would take me three years, but I absolutely was determined to figure this out and I did. I still take my trading seriously. There's times where I don't get enough done in the day because I'm so involved in my trades or what I'm doing or analyzing stuff and figuring things out. That's what it is. That's what it is. You gotta love it. You gotta love what you're doing. You have to get into this stuff, people. I really love being able to predict where somebody's gonna go. I absolutely love it. But I mean, if you don't love chart reading, then I mean, it's like, why are you doing this? I mean, to me, it's fun. Again, this is all based on technical analysis, but it's advanced technical analysis in the gap. Okay. Any questions from anyone? I do see some new people here. Um, I see some older people here. We're done on time. I don't know how that happened. Any questions from anybody? No idea where we go tomorrow. We will see in the morning. Let's look here. We will definitely see in the morning. Let's look at the banks quick. All right, listen, email me if you want a trial of the room. Email me if you have any questions. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. Stay safe, everyone. Email me if you have questions about the class. And we'll see everybody soon. Thank you, Kathy.